Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ian with Out of This World Reader and today's video is going to be some authors that I really want to check out very soon. I think I want to start doing this every year at the beginning kind of list out some authors that kind of have piqued my interest and that I really want to kind of make it a goal to kind of read more from them throughout the year. And this kind of like little list that I've came up with involves mostly authors in fantasy and sci-fi, but I've also included some other authors as well. So without further ado, let's just hop right in with the first author. That first author is going to be Marie Lu. And I've heard great things about some of her work. She's actually an auto buy author for Luke's Room. He's another great booktuber, and we have similar tastes in kind of book genres and just books in general. So I think I can trust his kind of, in, or not instinct, but kind of trust his reviews on her. But she's got several books that really kind of piqued my interest. I have led the first book in the Legend series on my bookshelf already, so that'll probably be the first one that I dive into. But she's got like Sky Hunter, which is kind of like involving a sci-fi kind of YA twist on kind of humans on the brink of extinction, I believe. So that one sounds really interesting. Young Elites is taking place in Italy, I believe. And I've, I just, there's so many that I really want to check out. The Kingdom of Bach, like there were so many that I really want to check out. So she is probably the first author on this, this list that I will get to because I already have the first book in the Legends series. The next author is going to be a fantasy author, and that's going to be Joe Abercrombie. I've heard great things about his books again. I think it's the Blade itself. I don't know if that's the series, is it like the whole, but like the first book or whatever. But I've heard that it's got a wizard in that. And if you know me, I love magic, wizards, witches, all that. So if it's got that in it, I really want to dive into it. But I've heard great things about all of his different books, and... I don't know what it is about the covers, but they all kind of seem to kind of interest me as well. They're very intriguing, so that's just another reason why I wanted to dive into some of his books. And I don't like he's got quite a bit of backlist books, so if I really enjoy kind of the blade itself, I think that's where I'll start off. If you have any other opinion on where I should start with him, please let me know. But I think after kind of reading some of his books, he's got several others that I can dive into if I enjoy kind of the way of, that he writes his books and kind of spins his tales. So if you have any great recommendations for starting with Joe Abercrombie, please let me know. The next author is going to kind of get away from a little bit of sci-fi and fantasy, and that's going to be Kazu Ishiguru. I hope I'm saying that right. Please let me know if I'm not. But he has just been an author that I've heard a lot more lately on BookTube from some of his books. He had a new release, Clara and the Sun, that I was really interested in and I really hope to pick up soon. But also, like, When We Were Orphans, I believe, is another great one of his books that have kind of started to gain a lot of hype lately. But I believe he's just got, like, a very beautiful kind of writing style similar to kind of Aaron Morgenstern, I've heard. But I'm really kind of into that kind of writing style that's kind of very whimsical and kind of spins these tales. And I've just heard great things about the author in general. And I don't really know other than those two books, like any of other great ones. But I've heard he's just got like a great backlist of very kind of like heartwarming, heartwarming kind of emotional packs of punch books. So if you have any other great recommendations, please let me know. This next author, I am going to say that I'm a little bit embarrassed that I haven't read much from him, and that's going to be Neil Gaiman, and this is mainly because I, he really started to pique my interest after I finished the Sandman audiobook. He narrated it, and it was just absolutely great. I loved my time with that. I did a book chat on that, but I really want to check out more from it. It's a kind of an author that everyone has recommended to me. Like one of his books, North Mythology, mythology really interests me because I'm always interested in mythology, but North Mythology in general I'm really interested in, as well as kind of Greek mythology. But then Caroline and the Graveyard book I really want to read in this coming Halloween. What else? American Gods is another one I've heard great things about. But he's just an author that kind of everyone talks about. And since I love the Sandman so much, I feel like I can't go wrong with some of his other works. 
that being said, I'm kind of unsure where to start with on kind of some of his other some of his works. I've heard some people have said like American Gods, and it just it just varies from person to person. So if you have an opinion and you kind of enjoy his works, please let me know. Another fantasy author that I really want to check out, like this is probably the one on the list that I really want to check out the most, and that is Robin Hobb. She's got several great fantasy books that pique my interest. I can't. I think it's a live ship trilogy or some, series that kind of involves ships that are alive, and I believe there's dragons in there as well. So I love dragons and ships that kind of are alive really sounds something different and unique that I haven't experienced before. And then I can't remember if it's the Farseer trilogy or the Assassin's Apprentice. I, there's so many of her books that are kind of interconnected, so I really have no idea where to start if it's with the Live Ships trilogy or kind of following Fitz, I believe, in the Assassin's Apprentice. So I have no idea with Robin Hobb. I'll probably have to end up looking it up to figure out where to go. But she's just an author that I probably will check out very soon if I can get my hands on any of her books. And the covers, too, are just outstanding. I don't know what it is about them. Like, they're almost kind of minimalistic, some of them, that I've seen. And I really enjoy it about it. Like, it just stands out, that minimalistic kind of look. That So, yeah, that's another fantasy author that really I need to get to. After reading The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin, I needed to pick up more of her books. I've heard great things about the kind of Broken Earth trilogy, which really sounds interesting. Kind of Earth, dystopian, kind of this following these different perspectives of these people that can kind of control the events of the catastrophic, catastrophes that occur on Earth. I'm not sure. But that and the Inheritance Trilogy, I believe, is, or they might be the same thing. I have no idea. But after reading The City became, We Became, I kind of fell in love with her writing style and the way she kind of crafts these tales. And since no one's really talked about that one since it's kind of a newer release and those other books that she's kind of produced, I have got a lot of kind of clout and hype behind them. I think I can get behind those as well and kind of dive into those. And I really just kind of want to read more from her backlist before the next installment in The City We Became or the Great City series, which I hope to be coming out soon. I really want to dive into that again. Like, I just, I fell in love with The City We Became. That was outstanding. This last author that I want to check out is Octavia E. Butler, sci-fi author that I've heard great things about. She's got all kinds of different books that really kind of piqued my interest. I believe it's Kindred. That one sounds really interesting to me, and there was another one that I can't remember. The Parable of the Sour, Sour? I probably just butchered that a ton. But those both I've heard great things about. But she's got a lot of different books that if I enjoy kind of those two, I can really dive into more of her works. But that's another fantasy author that I really want to dive into. This last little pick isn't so much of a kind of author in general, but I really want to get into more translated works. So if you have any recommendations for books that are translated, please let me know. I would be interested in any from any genre, fantasy, sci-fi, literacy fiction, all that. Please let me know because I really want to dive into more translated works. The ones that I've read in the past, I really enjoyed. And I feel like they're a lot of times kind of hidden gems. So please let me know any of your recommendations for those. But that's all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please give me some recommendations for these authors and tell me what you think about the ones I chose. What are some authors that you really want to check out this year? But I hope you'll have a splendid day. Go forth and do something great. And I'm going to leave you today with a message from Ellie who said that adventure is out there. So I'll catch you next time. Bye.